Hey there YouTubers, unboxing video time. This should be a new CPU for the channel. Let's go ahead and get it open. All right, so what we have here is another uh, Pentium Gold CPU for the channel. This is a G6405. Fits the uh, LGA 1200. So uh, 400 and 500 series motherboards for Intel. Uh, Potentially, you may need a BIOS update for some of the 400s. I haven't really looked into that yet. We will uh, most likely put this into a 500 series motherboard. Made in Vietnam. And uh, so we have the 6400. Um, you know, I'm, I'm not wanting to buy any of the more expensive 11 gens. I'm kind of waiting on the 12th gen. So we're going to buy some AMD chips here shortly. And then we are going to eventually get into uh, 12th Gen Intel. Let's talk about some of the specs before we get this open. All right, so this just uh, this has been out at least uh, seven to nine months, I'd say, somewhere earlier 2021. Lithography is 14 nanometers. This uh, cost me, I want to say, $88. Um, Intel's website says it should go for about 64 but uh, good luck some of these CPUs the cheap ones are not as cheap as they used to be right for whatever reason the base frequency of this is 4.1 so that's a little bit up from the 6400 so it ought to perform a little better TDP 58 watts so the uh, memory type with this guy is supposed to be 2666 that uh, you know Remains to be seen inside of a 500 series motherboard. Obviously, the Z590 probably lets you run it as fast as uh, the motherboard will support. B560, H570, H510. There may be some limits uh, in there. Now, for uh, 400 series, you're probably going to tap out at 2666 unless you are in a Z490. Well, uh, you know. At some point, we'll try all that out on this channel. Max screen resolution of this guy is uh, 4K. It's nothing uh, spectacular there using the uh, UHD 610 graphics. All right, of course, with the graphics cards, another story. You should get higher. Let's get this open. So, at some point, you'll see me do some gaming videos with this. Um, you know what else will I be using it for? Just to run some of the. Uh, the other computers around here but this is not going to be much of a gamer um, it's going to you know drag down the performance of my my best graphics card so you most likely will not see me pair this with the RTX 3080 Ti unless I get super bored uh, I don't know if anybody really would watch those videos anywhere of me gaming with it but uh, you know, this is something, maybe a uh, GTX 1650, GTX 1050, 1050 Ti, uh, RX 560, RX 550, maybe the 570. Uh, don't believe, you know, it's a really good match for much more than that. Uh, maybe a 5500 XT. We'll see. All right, so there is your, uh, get that little Intel Pentium Gold sticker. I would never put that on the outside of my computer, um, but that's me. So let's uh, look at the CPU fan, see if this is an upgraded one. I'm going to get the CPU out of here, then we'll pull the fan out. All right, nope, this is the same crappy cheap uh, Intel fan. So there is the nicer uh, ones of these that have the... Uh, They have the cables uh, encased in, uh, you know, they're not three three out and about like this. Easier to get in the fan blades. Uh, and they're protected. Um, this has got uh, thermal paste on it already. All right. And so this is probably the easiest, got to be the easiest uh, CPU cooler to install. But, uh, you know. This is something, obviously, you're not going to overclock. Not that you could overclock with this CPU, but uh, if you could, you know, this would be a mistake to, to use this. So let's put that aside. Let's look at our uh, CPU. All right here, so here is the top of our CPU, if we can see that. Um, 
so you know not recommended really to uh touch these uh kind of electronic components without some kind of electrostatic precipitation but uh you know we're gonna go ahead and do it right now it's not winter in good old virginia if it was it probably uh we would pick up some static electricity so definitely would not recommend touching this we'll just flip this over so you can see the bottom of it and there you go there's uh the cpu so like i said you know this isn't going to be much of a gaming monster but uh you know for the money um what does this compare to it's probably as good as something like a i3 7100 i'm sure something you know from uh way back i do have an i3 8300 i would be curious to see how this compares with it but hey that's going to do it for this video folks